YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video. Back with another mail call video. Today is all my pickups, or most of them, from Emerald City Comic Con. Still a few things coming in from the Funko Shop. They were delayed, but still wanted to show you guys what I've gotten so far. I'm just gonna open these all up, show you what I got, and uh, let's get right into it. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. Hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, I just wanted to show you guys what I've gotten from Emerald City Comic Con so far. Uh, my stuff from Funko Shop is on this way. I know a lot of people had a lot of delays with those packages coming in due to uh, the man and also with the pandemic we're dealing with right now. So I'll make another video as soon as those come in, but I wanted to show you what came in so far. So, first pop I got is one I was excited to get. A lot of people saw me on Instagram talking about this one. It's because this guy was a, in the 90s, he was one of the most popular characters in the NBA. Wasn't the best, but it definitely was one of the most popular, and uh, that is Sean Kemp from the Seattle Supersonics. So yes, uh, I actually grew up, I had a Sean Kemp, like, I guess it was a doll, it was an action figure, uh, but I had one of his toys growing up. Um, so this Funko Pop was one I must have in my collection. I wanted Funko to do the uh, other Seattle Supersonics jersey. I like that one so much more. I know a lot of people that are like Seattle uh, fans, Sonics fans, like this jersey. I never did. I'm um, always like the, the 90s looking one. But I know this one's a classic. Um, I do like how they actually gave Sean Kemp the kamikazes. I'm not going to take them out of the box, but you can see the shoes they put on him. Nice detail, they don't do that on any of the other NBA pops that I've seen, but since Funko's based in Washington, they definitely put a little bit more of a personal touch on the uh, Seattle um, players, but that's cool with me because I did want this Sean Kemp. I don't think I ordered this one from Funko Shop. I did order a lot of the Funko Shop one, or it pops over on Funko Shop to see if I get the shared sticker. Um, I don't think I ordered this one, but this one's still a really cool one. I don't have many NBA Pops in my collection. I think I have a few, Kobe, uh, Steph Curry, and that may be it. Um, but this one is one that's going to help grow that collection. Definitely looking to get some more in the future. So yeah, this, Sean Kemp is the first Pop I got from Emerald City Comic Con. And up next is the other Pop that dropped at Target that I wanted to get. And that is the Doctor Doom, the white and silver version. This one's really dope. Um, I do want to get the old school, the, the first Doctor Doom that came out. Um, I think that one's extremely dope. But for now, I definitely have to settle for this. But settling is not really the best word to use because this one is extremely, extremely dope. Um, it almost looks like it should glow in the dark, but it does not. This is actually, I got the Sean Kemp online and I actually got this one in the store. They still had them in stock. I think the day or two days after Emerald City Comic Con, which I was surprised. I thought this one would sell out. This was the last one on the shelf. They still the Sean Kemp's on the shelves when I left. Um, but yeah, this Doctor Doom is really, really dope. Um, I do, you know, pick up some Marvel pops here and there. I'm not just, uh, I just don't leave them all the time. I, I do like some of them, and this one definitely fits in that. I think a Target and Emerald City Comic Con did a really good collab on this one. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really dope looking pop. And uh, I'm surprised it didn't sell out first. Um, I think a lot of these are still on shelves. I think the only ones that sold out um, were the things on the Funko shop because people were trying to get the, the share sticker. And I think that uh, like the Loch Ness Monster and um, Indiana Jones were the first ones to go. But for the most part, I think a lot of the other pops sat on the shelves and still there. So it's pretty surprising. I don't know this because of what we're dealing with right now. But yeah, it's uh, definitely easy to get these pops. Up next, this is one I was really looking forward to get. And it is the Mill House from The Simpsons. So this is a box lunch exclusive. I thought this one would sell out for, uh, pretty fast as well, just because it was the only uh, pop that Box Lunch had. So if anyone was at Box Lunch, they had no choice but to grab this one. But I think this one's still available as well. Um, I don't know. I think I actually ended up getting this one my birthday rewards, um, plus other you know uh, rewards points. So I think this one ended up being free. But really excited to have Millhouse in my collection. I do have the Simpsons display up there. It says Simpsons is technically a Disney property now. It does fit into that uh, wall back there. Uh, but Millhouse is one of my favorite characters in Simpsons. He always, uh, you know, bad things would happen to Millhouse. And uh, yeah, he just kind of was like the punching bag of the show. 
um, but he's always was funny to me. And this pop was the first Millhouse they made, so it's definitely a uh, must-have for me in my collection. And I think it turned out really well. You know, he's got the ice cream falling on his shirt, and that's a typical Millhouse uh, scene right there. So really, really nice pop. Definitely has, fits into my Simpsons collection, and uh, yeah, really cool one. All right, so up next, this one is one that I think is a sleeper. I think it still is available, but I think eventually this one's gonna go up over time because a lot of people do want this character, and that's Nymphadora Tunks from Harry Potter. This one's really, really dope. It seems to me like uh, Emerald City Comic Con normally has a lot of green stuff, but there wasn't all green things like there has been in the past. This one's obviously purple is the main color and black, um, but this one's really, really nice. Really excited to get this one in the collection. I had to figure out some way to display my Harry Potter stuff because the opposite wall of this is going to be, I think, my anime things, and maybe some add icons mixed in if there's still space. Um, but Harry Potter definitely needs to have some kind of space in this room. Just haven't figured it out yet. Um, but this Tonks is a really, really nice one. It's the first one they've done of this character, so it's a must-have for me. Uh, like I said, it was a Hot Topic exclusive and uh, was probably the one I wanted most from Hot Topic, which is pretty surprising because they had some cool things on there. Um, but this one is really dope. She's got her wand she's holding up. Uh, you know, just her signature purple hair and then her regular outfit. Not too um, too much going on there. It's just the first time they made this character. So that's why I wanted to make sure I grab this one for the collection. So up next, you have Nymphadora Tonks from Harry Potter. All right. So the only other pop I wanted to get from Hot Topic was actually this one. I was on the fence about it for a while just because I already had this character. It actually was the first Funko Pop I ever got. A lot of people on my Instagram, I did a contest and uh, they didn't know who that was. And I've mentioned it before, but maybe people forgot. And that's why I didn't get this pop initially. But after seeing it many times, seeing the glow on it, I kind of had to pick it up. And that is the perfect sell from Dragon Ball Z. So with most things in my collection, I do like the collective villains. Um, I don't know why that is. Um, the Marvel ones back there for the most part, outside of I think Cyclops are villains. Um, I have a lot of other villains in Disney and all that kind of things like that. And Dragon Ball Z and anime is no different. I normally like the villains. And uh, this pop is really cool. It actually does go together with my favorite pop in my collection. I've mentioned that before, as well as part of the giveaway uh, is the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. This is the same scene with Super Saiyan 2 Gohan was when Perfect Cell had the same lightning around them and they're both doing a Kamehameha blast um, trying to take out each other. This one's really dope. I wish the Gohan would have glowed in the dark as well. Putting them side by side in my glow in the dark display looked really nice at that point. But still really, really dope looking pop. And uh, yeah, the glow on this one's really dope as well. I don't know why I was sleeping on it at first because it is extremely nice pop. I just think they made, they just had the metallic cell come out. They had the regular cell already. And um, they're all the perfect cell uh, forms of cell. But they don't have the other variations of different other forms of cell yet. So I was kind of hoping for something different different form of cell, but still this one is really cool and I couldn't pass it up as much as I tried. So there you go, the next pop is Perfect Cell from Hot Topic. All right, so last but not least, the only other pop I got so far from the stores, um, I wasn't feeling anything else from Hot Topic um, or Target or anything like that. Uh, Entertainment Earth, I didn't get anything from them. But this is the last pop I wanted to get and this is probably my most um, wanted pop from Emerald City Comic Con. Just think it looks incredibly nice. It definitely will stand, stands out in your collection. And that is the Slime Pit He-Man. So I do have my other Masters of the Universe pops back there. So trying to glow, grow that collection as well. Uh, definitely have a lot of the new ones coming out this line that I have to pre-order and get my hands on. Um, but this Slime Pit He-Man is a really dope one to start the new wave of Master of the Universe pops coming out. He actually it doesn't seem like he's part of the new wave because he got the old ones back there. But this Slime Pit He-Man is really, really dope. He's uh, like a translucent green and uh, I don't have the regular He-Man or Battle Armor He-Man. So definitely need to at least have one He-Man in my collection since, you know, uh, making a Master of the Universe collection back there. You have to have He-Man to go alongside with that. But this one was the one I think I was liked the most out of all the Emerald City Comic Con Pops. I know a lot of people are gravitating towards that gelatinous cube now from GameStop. He's kind of cool looking, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, but I don't have any idea who he is. I don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, so I didn't pick it up. I know, I understand why a lot of people did, because it is extremely cool looking pop and different from everything else I've ever seen. But this He-Man also kind of fits into that for me. He's just extremely, extremely nice. Um, 
Surprise I actually didn't double up. I think I might have actually ordered him on the Funko shop to hope to get the con sticker. Um, so the difference between the con sticker and the shared one, obviously you guys can see right there, you have like a rectangle um, sticker right there, which says Funko 2020 Spring Convention. The, sh the con sticker is actually like a, a horizontal rectangle and it says the same thing, I believe. So that's a, a little bit difference. You know, I don't know if they'll end up being more valuable like how cons have been in the past just because they were a little bit more widely available um, or accessible, I should say, to people. So I don't know if the value is going to change, but still pretty cool at least to have the different sticker in your collection. But like I said, this He-Man Slime Pit, best pop of Emerald City Comic Con to me. But, you know, let me know your, your thoughts down in the comment section below, which ones you thought were the best from Emerald City Comic Con. Let me know what you think of the pops that I did get from this, um, con so far like i said i do have a package coming in from uh funko shop so as soon as i get that i'll make a video for it as well so you guys can see how i did with getting uh, convention stickers and what else i got from them but drop down your thoughts in the comment section down below if you've not already hit that like button hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching guys Till next time see you later